showing today where I'm at with this acoustic electric guitar that I'm making. Um, I haven't set the neck yet, it's clamped in there. And what I do now is set the bridge. And this is a acoustic electric, uh, some say a hollow body electric, uh, whatever, it's a uh, acoustic hollow body electric. So I'm setting the bridge um, and I've already done all this. It took a while to, to get my measurements right, but this is called the 25 and a half inch scale. So from right here at the nut, it has to be exactly 25 and a half inches to the top of the saddle right here. And kind of what I do to get it in tune and in alignment and everything, which I've already done, I've already placed it. Uh, but I got to drill a hole right here and hope, hope that I'm right. And if it's if it's not right, I can always um, I can fix that. So usually do the first and the sixth string. So now I can take uh, don't want the slide. And this is not glued in yet, or this is not glued in. You can't do anything. And this is really a pretty, the most fun part, I think, of making a guitar is actually hearing it for the first time. First time I did that, uh, I couldn't believe I actually, that I actually made one. So I'm gonna put the peg in here, if I can. Look, get some more slack here. There's a lot more slack. I should have put this in there first, I think. Oh, wrong hole. That's pretty good there, Jim. That's in there pretty good. I should have should have did that first. So that's in there. Now I'm gonna actually by look by looking at it, I'm gonna have to probably move this bridge over just a little bit. But I'm just showing basically how this is how this is done. It takes a while. You can take six, several hours just just setting this up right here. Make sure you the clamps, all the clamps are just holding this. This will eventually be glued into any anybody then again that would like to make an acoustic electric guitar or um, if you never have you're thinking about doing it. Uh, here's a good tip. Make sure this is glued down to the wood. Don't apply anything to that. No lacquer, no sealer, no anything. I did that one time and I forgot. <coughs> I don't mind telling my mistakes. Um, put the lacquer on it, glued the bridge down. Next day I went to tune it up and the bridge just <coughs> came right off. So I don't mind telling my mistakes. So here's the first sound. to set the intonation, which is uh, most guitar players, luthiers know, know what that is. Some some of you don't, I don't know. Is the, uh, it's basically an octave up. So I use, usually use my phone for this, but I'm using my phone for the video right now. So I have a tuner that hits it. So if that's right on the E, per perfect E, would that, goes perfect E come up here to the 12th fret an octave higher and 
and it might be a little off I just by by my ear but I really don't use my ear for this I use a tuner to set that A F and the action seems seems to be okay I can always play around with by sanding these saddle down or you can't angle the neck just a hair so I just thought I'd make a quick video of how I the process of uh, do that it's a um, I could spend several hours just doing this um, I can put the bottom E string in I've already cut a hole here and I can tune this one up somehow I normally have a, uh, a little gadget that does this pretty quick wherever it went got a little thing here that can turn this up really quick and it just came out of the hole so so anyhow put that in there I don't know if you can see it or not use this little thing then it gets it right on tunes it right on up tightens it up Like I said, this it's a a long process. I can already see that the bridging is going to need to come over. Strength seems. I don't have anything tightened down. So that's basically the process of before you glue the neck in, before you glue the bridge on. So there's the first sound of a guitar that I made. And it's always pretty cool to hear. So I'll pick I'll stop this video here and I can see you probably can't see it on, on the video screen but the strings aren't perfectly going up and down so what I do take the time to pretty much I'm gonna have to slide this bridge over just a little bit just a little bit so these strings will be right right there this one's too far over, it's too close. And uh, that's, so that's where I'm at with this thing. Uh, be doing another video sometime again. So I appreciate anybody that's watching this, Brian and Greg, thanks for watching. <laughs>